jewelry, uh, you know, our, our treasures, our celebrities, our political individuals. And if you just want a security detail, you can hire one. But for our kids, who are the most valuable resource out of all of those, we it's don't. It's not what the individual identifies as, what they do for a living, who they are as a person. It's the acts that they're committing which are evil. Therefore, they are an evil individual that needs stopped. That I was one of those exactly like our political leaders that jumped on the political bandwagon. Um, you and your families deserve better. Yes, to have is it going to be bad for these kids to have a security detail, armed security detail in schools or law enforcement and the schools, and they know about and they're armed and they see the firearms. I don't think it is if we can't have the same conversation with the video games in another school. However. This evil individual that shouldn't even have their name in the media didn't do so because there was too big of a security risk there. How's it going everyone? Welcome to the nasty civilian segment of Colorado Custom Leather and Blades. I'm your host, my name is Nate, the guy behind the hammer and the anvil, and what this is for is getting to know me, the maker behind the hammer and anvil, as I said, talking about things in life, talking about things I'm passionate about, and things going on in the world, it, you know, um, like this video, I, I, I feel highly motivated to speak on because I think we're having a one-sided conversation on both sides of the political spectrum and both sides of our moral views, and we should be having the one... Uh, one conversation and that is how do we protect our kids um, and uh, I ask you regardless of where you lean politically to um, just hear me out on this and I'm gonna also say this you know what I'm getting sick and tired of is automatically as soon as these events happen we automatically jump on the political spectrum we automatically defend our political sides, defend our political beliefs, and hey, that's what makes us up as the individual Americans that we are. And I'm guilty of this. You know, the one thing I should have did was pray for these families that are affected. Because as soon as I saw one title, which was what was going on, I saw the other title of it's time for gun control or what's being done about gun control or this and that and the other thing. Not giving any respect and if one of the families watches i am truly sorry sorry that i was one of those exactly like our political leaders that jumped on the political bandwagon um you and your families deserve better than that and i am sorry and um you know this video not to be hypocritical is going to be on the subject of this and you know firearms and um what can we do to protect our kids and again, I feel very motivated to speak on this, and I ask you just to hear me out. Um, one thing I'm trying to do for fellow uh, YouTubers is if I play a video, even if it's not really capturing my interest to help them out, I just uh, listen through. But hey, I also would like to start a dialogue, really. It's starting a conversation with the public. Do you agree or disagree, and which parts do you agree with, and which parts do you don't agree with? Um, so with that being said, let's start with... the active shooter in this shooting in, t in Tennessee. Regardless if this individual was transgender or not, if the motive was because this church, uh, and being a Christian myself, I'm biased on this, but I'm going to put it like this because this is how I've seen it ever since the first Columbine shooting, listening to that on the radio as it happened when I was a kid uh, in Colorado. Um, and it's not what the individual identifies as, what they do for a living, who they are as a person. It's the acts that they're committing which are evil. Therefore, they are an evil individual that needs stopped. So regardless if this church is, was you know, outspoken against you know, LBGTQ uh, uh, communities, I'm sorry if I butchered that acronym, but... It doesn't change the fact of the actions that was taken against the innocents. I'm sorry, if you have an issue with Christians, I don't understand why you target children. That, to me, is just an evil individual. And I'm going to say this. I don't care how old you are, what your skin color is, 
what your belief system is, where you stand politically, any of that, if you go and harm innocent children, you deserve what just happened to you. And honestly, it needed to happen a lot faster. Because one too many lives got uh, taken. Uh, not just those children's lives, but those teachers' lives. Um, and um, I stand by that statement 100%. Um, once you make that determination in your mind that that is what you're going to go and do, you should be stopped effectively and quickly, uh, like before it even happened. And here's an interesting thing. Getting on the subject of what can we do? The shooter was planning on taking another target on a school. So let me, let me rephrase that. Was planning to target another school, but didn't do so because of their they 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 created a target package basically they created a um a mission package that and that's what it was that was their mission is to cause chaos harm death destruction it wasn't a political statement it wasn't it, 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 they may say that that might be the reasoning but the re, the reality is was death destruction chaos so they were planning on taking another school however this evil individual that shouldn't even have their name in the media didn't do so because there was too big of a security risk there. There was too much security. They would not be able to carry it out before they were stopped. Meaning there was an armed individual most likely there or it was known that they were there. Just bear in mind, hear me out, I know guns in, in, in the classroom, is that a good thing for our kids' well-being or not? You know what? Here's what I have to say. And I'm going to sound hypocritical because I play video games too. And I play these types of shooting games. Um, I don't see the difference between somebody that's there in a role of protecting children in the most valuable time of their life of educating them to be functioning individuals in society and physically protecting them, giving them an emotional structure, regardless if they, it's not like the, the, the security detail is going to be standing at a low ready in a classroom uh, and, you know, smiling and learning along with them, with you know, laughing with the kids and the teacher. No, they're there, hidden in plain sight. That's the way I see security. That's how I learn security. Um, that is the best way security operates. It's not right in your face. It is hidden in plain sight. It is there to do a job. People don't need to know about it, though. And that's the way I see it. So moving moving forward. Until we can have the conversation. And again, I play these games too, but I play them for a different reason. I have a feeling these video games um, and, you know, uh, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, all these shooting games have no longer changed from a team goal aspect of uh, taking out the bad guy or accomplishing a mission grooming them if you will for a militaristic mind maybe service in the future which some people do serve for those reasons is because they played a video game and like oh i want to do that in real life the same same reason why a lot of um their special operation guys i've read their books and they started in the path of getting into those communities from reading books like tom clancy so it's the influence there but are these video games dehuman de um Humanitizing is that the word? Uh, de 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 um, desensitizing. I'll say that, not dehumanizing. Desensitizing, pulling the trigger on somebody. I don't know. I mean, I train as much as I possibly can, and the training that I uh, done, I'm not anyone special. Uh, but I believe that being a responsible firearm owner is somebody that stays trained and is willing to be trained. I've, I haven't really paid for lessons, but I put a lot of hours in and I've seen my improvement and I'm willing to continue that because I carry a firearm for a moral reason. It's not that I cannot wait for the day that I have to use my firearm in a situation I pray never happens. It's if that day does come. I have the ability, even if it means that I, my life is lost in the process of that, that I stop that evil against myself or other people around me. That is the moral line of why I carry. It's not just for myself. It's for other people around me. It's not to be a hero. It's because it's the responsible thing to do. If I'm willing to carry a firearm, am I willing to do so in defense of life? Because that firearm's not coming out unless it's that, that severity. And that's just the reality of it. 
but when you have games like this and again i'm a hypocrite because i like these types of games but i play for the challenge i play for the team orientation of completing a mission nowadays it's i mean you can pick something on youtube reels or youtube or facebook or instagram of these you know pro gamers or whatever that and i'm not knocking you guys but it what are you doing? What is the mission in that you know in that that game? It's to win, and you're taking out people in the process. So is it d is it d um, sensitizing us to have? Is it going to be bad for these kids to have a security detail, armed security detail in schools or law enforcement and the schools, and they know about and they're armed and they see the firearms? I don't think it is. If we can't have the same conversation with the video games, and let's just not even talk about some of the horror games that are out there that go into extremely graphic detail of killing, not just killing, maiming, uh, completely dismantling someone's body. I mean, unless we can have those conversations, and these Christian schools are not out of the question of being influenced by this types of stuff. So again, that might be a little bit too far out there, but for the shooter itself, you know, with regardless of the facts that they were transgender or whatever the reasoning was, they committed evil. So here, here's my my final thought on this, and I really I think we should have the conversation. Why can't we start if the teachers don't want to be armed? putting a security detail that are not law enforcement, that their job solely, and they have to be vetted, they have to go through training annually and consistently, they have to prove that they are there for the part. There are plenty of veterans out there that need jobs that would be great for this. There are plenty of individuals that are citizens that would be able to learn this job even more so because they wouldn't stand out because they never have been militarized. They haven't gone through military training. So they have that edge there to blend in and playing and plain um hide in plain sight and have multiple people there so just in case one of them is having a day where they want to commit some evil there's somebody else there to stop them is that so wrong i really don't think it is and if it is to you in the comments please feel free to tell me but here's here's the other thing um let's say a gun ban does go through let's just talk about gun control real quick do you really think, do you really think in honesty that somebody wants to do an evil act, taking innocent lives, cares about a gun ban? You think they just need a firearm? No, because of the same reasoning why this recent evil individual didn't go after that one school is because there was a potential of being stopped before they started. They will carry out with whatever means they have to, to affect the evil that they want to. And unless something is there to stop them, they're going to do what they have to do. Why did the, why didn't the evil individual call up the law enforcement and be like, hey, this is what I'm going to do. You guys have five minutes. No, they went in there and did what they did before what was going to stop them came. And when that 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 force came stopping law enforcement they that evil individual shot at them why because they're that person knew they're gonna be stopped so why not take out some more their mission was death chaos and destruction nothing more needs to be said on that so um, you know until we can start having real conversations of you know video game influence and uh, here's an, here's another thing my my conservatives in, in closing this video or maybe not going to agree with me maybe you will i think we need to start teaching not just responsible firearm ownership but the respect of the firearm because i've been around guns my whole life there was a time when i probably shouldn't have owned a firearm because i was doing it because one i was i was trying to get into i was going to uh, uh cri and grand junction sorry c c anyways i was going to a school that had to do with private security. It was a program, and I got that firearm for that reason. Um, at that point in time, in my mind frame, skill level, and stuff like that, to carry a firearm was not there. It's built over time. Does that mean I could never own a firearm? No. Does it mean that if I had the right influence mentorship to get me there at that point in time, would that be okay? Absolutely. So what I'm getting back to is we need to start teaching kids, not just the responsibility and respect of firearm, but 
what it means to be somebody that respects the firearm. Because it does have the ability to preserve life and take life, regardless of what you use it for. It also has the ability to have some fun on the range, but it does have the ability to preserve and take life. The reason why I carry is to protect life in the process that is taking the life if that situation ever arises. The evil individual, no problems with that. It's it's we we can bridge a way where we can ju we can teach a responsible firearm ownership, but also respect for the firearm. Because again, going back to the video game, you know, uh, philosophy, I think it is lots of respect. A lot of these kids think they can just go pick up a firearm and it's going to be like a video game, and that's a rude awakening. It's not like that. It's very real. Um, and if we can teach the respect of the firearm again, I think a lot of these things would change. But the biggest thing is, is we need a force multiplier in these schools. We have arm protection. I've said this so many times in closing. I promise. We have arm protection for our banks, jewelry, uh, you know, our, our treasures, our celebrities, our political individuals. And if you just want a security detail, you can hire one. But for our kids, who are the most valuable resource out of all of those, we don't in the public setting. That's the biggest equation that doesn't make sense to me. So a gun ban is not going to stop evil individuals. Taking the AR away from everybody is only going to create a lot of chaos. But let's say it did work. It's not going to stop evil individuals. They will take whatever means necessary to carry out their actions. Without having an edge there, a force multiplier to teach consequences that are real and let evil individuals, before they even have the thought of carrying out these evil acts, that their consequences are, are life and death because they're, they're going to try to take innocent life, they're not going to get so far. So with that being said, I, I, I really think that we really need to re-look at gun reform and start talking about what children's safety means and it's not less firearms it's not more firearms it's the right individuals with firearms to protect these kids that have a skill set that can be trained and are willing to um, that can hide in plain sight at the same time teaching respect to the firearm not just responsibility um, talking about the desensitization of kids minds when it comes to violent video games shooting games and what they view as real life because a lot of these kids will go well, I'm just going to shoot this person in the face where would they get that from the easiness of playing these video games is shooting somebody in the face the lack of sensitivity there for that action is I think a real thing so with that being said guys um, that's my heart on this if you have comments please put them if you agree awesome like share subscribe please help me reach 100 subscribers by May God bless we'll see you soon